I'm sorry. You're safe now. It's okay. My boy. Forgive me, Minnie. My money. Your money? Come on. Let's go. It's over. Dear 47, if you read this letter, I am most likely dead. You will have shot me for a traitor, and Travis will have won. Do not let him have the girl as well. Travis's division was conducting genetic experiments without the agency's knowledge, and Victoria was their crowning achievement. Give her the choice you never had. Protect Victoria. And kill Benjamin Travis. Good luck, 47. Man, was that an epic intro. What up, everybody? This is Jerusalem from Xbox Live, and this is another edition of Hitman Absolution. This is the last edition, Mission 20, Absolution, on purest difficulty, and it really, really sucks. Yep. I played... It's a three-part mission. I played this first part easily an hour and a half that looks like before... I got it right. I had over an hour and a half of footage of just this first part. But, uh, infiltrating it is super, super tricky. It really, really sucks. And when you get to this part, you really need the timing I just got here where... <clears throat> The other guard isn't there when he's checking out the distraction, because then that guard's going to come back. He's going to leave again by the time this guard makes his way over here. And that's what we want, because we don't want that guy to see us take down this guy. Because he's going to spot us no matter what. Whether you were to do this suit only or take the disguise, you need to take this guy out, because he will spot you uh, in the next spot where you're at. And you're going to be sitting there for a minute, so... We, you really can't uh, afford that. I don't know if it's possible suit only. I've <laughs> I spent an hour and a half trying to do it, and you know I couldn't get it. And that whole hour and a half wasn't just suit only. I spent probably about an hour of suit only, and then another half hour after I decided to take a disguise before I finally got this down. So. I always take the brick just in case. I've never used it, but better safe than sorry. But we're going to be sitting here for a minute because we want to make sure we've got the timing set just right. So we're going to wait for... There's a patrol of guards, like four or five guards, that's going to be coming down the path to the left of us, back towards that gate in the rear. Here they come right now. We want them to be walking. We want them to be gone like they just were. But uh, we want to know we have enough time, so we're going to wait for them to walk away again. And after they've walked away again, we're going to wait for this guy that's standing right in front of us here to walk back to where he just was again. And by that time, all the guards standing in all the positions near that area will have their backs turned and will be able to advance forward. There will be one guy in the back that we got to be careful of, but... Uh, even if it's not perfect timing, he's still pretty easy to work around. So we're just going to chill here for a little bit. So while we're waiting, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the story here. You know, so this is the very end of the story. Everyone else has been taken out. We just got to get to Travis and finish everything up for good. That's the contract that we were given by Diana in the beginning. And 47 always honors his contracts. So... That was a pretty uh, 
like I said, a pretty epic little video there because of all the, the tension built around the, you know, the relationship of Diana and 47 and then, you know, what's happening with him having to eliminate her and whatnot. So, all right, this is the guy we got to take out. If you're going to do it while you stand right here, you got to be really quick though, because there's a guard that can come back and see you. He's right there. So we're just going to chill right here. Oh, need to take the body with us. We're going to pull this body right over here. And we're going to wait for those other guards to come back and leave again. But yeah, so, you know, the, everything's coming to uh, full circle now. We're going to take out Travis, rescue Victoria, honor Diana's contract, and uh, everyone wins. Yay! Well, except for the bad guys. Happy ending. So yeah, as soon as this guy, these guys take off again, we're going to stuff this body and get the heck out of here. Alright, so now that they're gone, we're going to drag this body back here. Should be able to do this before that other guard comes forward again. And now we're just going to pick this lock, but you still got to kind of... I don't know why I just circled back there. You got to... Oh, yeah, this guy up here to the left, I was just going to say you got to watch out for him sometimes. Once his back's turned, you're good. Just pick this lock. Management already suspects the lead about the Hope operation. And when they hear you pulled these kind of resources to close down a cemetery, they're going to start demanding answers. The real reason Burnwood went rogue, your little science project, everything could get exposed. I'm not going down because you're obsessed with a dead woman. Management will believe what I tell them to believe. You wanted to play in the big leagues. Well, this is your chance. Get it done or start writing up your own epitaph. So, yeah, what they were talking about there, you know, Diana went rogue and went against the agency and kidnapped Victoria because of this project that Travis was doing that he, off the books, the agency didn't authorize it, they didn't know about it. And so, if this whole thing's exposed, then they lose, but uh, we're going to take them out anyway, so screw them. So, you can see the route I took to get over here. you got to be very quick, just once that initial guard turns his back, run like I did. Use instinct, get past that one guard. And then once you make your way over here, you can get this disguise. There's only one scientist on this map. So you just have to make sure he doesn't see you, and he's right there with her. But uh, I know I know you can throw off their timing and choke her out. And I don't remember if that's the way I did it or not, because that's pretty tricky. So what I try to do is throw off the scientist's timing enough that uh, she comes back here by herself, and then I just drop the uh, crane on her. It's an accident kill. So we'll see which one I did. This part here was almost as ridiculous as the first part. I spent about an hour and a half on the first part and probably about 45 minutes on this part. We'll link up with you guys uh, trying to get the timing down between the two of those. Well, that's right. This guy kept seeing me, so I decided to take him down. So there's a cabinet right here. I wouldn't recommend taking out more than this one guy here if you're going to do it so that you have space here to hide the girl's body if you choke her out right here which is what I'm thinking I did or at least I wanted to do uh, again everything is down to timing and if this failed I would fall back on dropping the crane on her yeah this guy patrols through here too so that's, an, that's uh, a timing issue there and there is also usually a guy it might even be this one or a different one. Uh, see, there she is, and she's already spotted me. But anyway, there's guard. There's a guard at the back end where she just came in from too. Oh, there's the other scientist. Okay, yeah. So what happened there was I missed the timing on that. She saw me and decided to keep moving instead of standing there, which 
which is what she's supposed to do, so I decided to throw off their timing and uh, choke her out. Or not choke her out, but drop the crane on her. So now he's going to be distracted, and that's going to give me enough time to come in here and set up the accident kill. Hey, nice gun. Travis wants a complete DNA analysis of the body. Touch Don't me, I'll forget, break your arm. was part of this division for years. Whatever we are capable of, she is as well. <laughs> Ha uh ha. -huh. Suck it. So, yeah, she's dead now. All we gotta do is get out of here. Uh, which is pretty easy as long as you can avoid the other scientists. And avoid being spotted. Uh, there'll be one guard over by the exit. We just gotta wait for him to turn his back. And then we can uh, proceed to the next level. Which will be where we start part to you. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for the next episode.